you know, Christmas is going to be here before you know it. Time is just flying by. I can't believe yeah. we're almost done with October. I know. This time next week, we're going to be going into Halloween weekend. I it's, know. It's I hope week. you have your costume ready. I've got a pretty good idea. Oh, so you are going to dress up. We'll see. <laughs> well, the Christmas tree is going up the day after, though. I can tell you that. Much. <laughs> ben and I have already been talking. We've got a whole plan. We're ready to go for Christmas. Uh, but no, I, I mean, the radar is not lighting up like a Christmas tree tonight. It's fairly quiet out there. Believe it or not, we had a cold front roll through today. The temperatures, they're a little cooler than this time yesterday. 57 is the current number in Macon. Compare it to yesterday, we're 11 degrees cooler in Macon, 8 degrees cooler in Warner Robins, 3 degrees cooler in Butland, Butler, 12 degrees cooler in Sandersville and in Wrightsville. So it's a little bit evident out there, but in terms of the high temperatures, you're not really going to notice it in the days ahead as the front continues to move down towards the south. The high pressure up near Missouri, uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, that's going to work closer and closer, keep us dry through the weekend. That's the good news out of all this. Let's get through future you go hour by hour through the night tonight and into tomorrow waking up in the mid to low 50s wouldn't surprise me to see a 40 degree temperature sprinkled somewhere maybe pike monroe as you head up towards jasper putnam counties and then through the day warming up steadily into the upper 70s low 80s i expect a high temperature in macon tomorrow in the upper 70s right around 78 then for overnight Saturday into Sunday, introducing a few more clouds into the forecast, and that's going to continue through the day on Sunday. So Saturday, you'll see more sun. Sunday, you'll see more clouds. The irony on that, right? So 74 uh, by 7 p.m. on Sunday. Long range stuff, this is where things get complicated. So picking it up. Monday afternoon, our next front will be on our doorstep coming across the Georgia state line. You can see the line of green and blue there. The GFS and Euro fairly confident on the timing of this, just bringing us a few showers. No big deal on Monday. Then once we get into Tuesday, some increased cloud, cloud cover as we get a southwest wind off the Gulf of Mexico and we turn our attention off to the west. Now there's a lot of uncertainty with this. The GFS has the heavier weather uh, coming across the state line here Wednesday evening is keeping it down towards the south. At the same time, the Euro has the same system back over Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas into port parts of Tennessee. Now the disparity only gets greater the longer we go in time. So the heavier stuff off the Georgia, South Carolina coast here Thursday morning, whereas the European has it firmly in the state of Alabama. So we've got a lot of details to work out and whether or not this could be severe storms by the time we head into Thursday, some fine tuning we're going to have to be doing on that. Regardless, the Storm Prediction Center has already put us in a level two risk for day six, not the entire area, just portions of the south East. I wouldn't be concerned about it right now. I just need to mention it because it's out there and I know you're going to see it probably on social media. So for tonight, headed down for an overnight low of 51 degrees, dry for everybody, certainly cooler. The seven day forecast shapes up like this. A 20% chance of rain on Mondays, a few clouds on Tuesday as temperatures fall into the 70s. But you're going to want to check back for updates on this because I can guarantee you Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, they're going to be changing on the seven day.